Big Hub Daddy here. I got a question for you guys. Are the Brooklyn Nets better without Kyrie Irving? So I was watching the Battle of New York last night before the Battle of LA last night. NBA action for Wednesday, November 9th. Oh, oh I'm getting a little rain dog. Oh. So, <clears throat> I noticed the, uh, the Brooklyn Nets were playing with a little bit more energy. There's a little bit more uh, ball movement going around. It was like it was like the passing, the passing was contagious. And I thought to myself, are the Nets? A better team without Kyrie. As um, as great as a player Kyrie is, the individual offense Kyrie is, there's um, you ask anybody about Kyrie, kind of what is his weaknesses, and it's the um, him just kind of. Like dribbling the ball, like um, too much, kind of like how um, Harden, you know, is dribbling the ball too much. I mean, dude's got the best handles in in the NBA. You know, one of the best handles, top three, top five. I mean, who's you got Steph? You know, Harden. Who else? Who else right now has the the handles like Irving? And um, man, players, I, I I feel like when Irving sets the offense, and uh, and players just kind of stand around, they don't um, you know, they'll do a little two man action, a little pick and roll from the top, and you know Irving can do his little crossover step backs. And there's really not much like ball movement, no player movement. And uh, just last night, man, you know, the, the Nets have shooters. The thing about KD is he is efficient. He's efficient with with his scoring, with his, his moves you know, to the basket, him making uh, passes. And these, these passes, like I said, they get contagious, man. And, um, you know, they were fighting them shooters last night. Um, yeah, Patty Mills. Patty Mills can hit. Um, Curry. Um, oh, man, I'm getting wet again. Ugh. Ooh. <clears throat> I'm not going to edit that out. Because I ain't editing nothing. See, uh, see where that that hurricane is right now. I'm uh, South Florida. Good thing I didn't really get hit too bad. I'm not talking about no hurricane. I'm not talking about getting a little wet from the rain. I'm talking about these shooters for the Brooklyn Nets. We got uh, Patty Mills, Curry. Oh man, what's that? What's that dude's name? What? <laughs> what? It's got. Oh, it's got 50 points for the the <laughs> uh, the final. Harris. Um. Anyways, you guys got. Uh, they got, they got shooters. So, um, last night I was just seeing the, the ball, the ball moving around. People, like, that passing, that passing was contagious. Um, the players, I see, it, it feels like just just watching that one game that the, the players kind of seemed like they, they were a little bit more involved. Like, they were, there was just a little bit more of, like, energy out on the, on the floor. Like, there was... Just that love for the basketball, um, love for the game, was was there like displayed on the floor, 
and I could see just on the the um, the players were just a little bit more free. It seemed like to me, the cuts to the basket. It was just a nice crisp cuts to the basket, and uh, they really looked like a good um, like a a team, because you know when you start seeing this contagious passing, these uh, these cuts to the basket. You know, everybody's getting involved, and it's like, oh, you want to make this pass to make this pass. So this guy's open, and he hits a three, and then it's like, it just starts flowing. So that's kind of really something that I noticed last night um, with Kyrie being out. Um, and I think he's been out for maybe a week. It's been about a week now that he's been out. And I feel like... Um, I feel like Brooklyn, as as great as a talent as Irving is, All Star, champion. Brooklyn just really looks better without him. I think so, man. Um, I can can they sustain it? Where about eleven games in depending on the team, 10 to 12 games. So we'll see, man. The NBA season's long. I'm really not trying to talk too much about NBA right now. It's still November. Uh, maybe when we get into, you know, December, Christmas, you know, start getting my quick picks in for the NBA and really start just watching these teams, man, and, and seeing how these NBAs could have unfold getting a little windy out here now. Woo-hoo. So, um, yeah, those are my kind of those are my thoughts right now on the Brooklyn Nets playing without Kyrie. It just looks like everybody, everybody's just, just a little bit more energy. There's a, a little bit more of like a, a little bit more of a step. I just look a little bit more crisp. The uh, balls just boom, 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 hitting them shooters, man. Um. <laughs> I saw KD, uh, man, KD did his little, uh, his cross, and, uh, man, he blew past the defender, pulled up, and a little, his little mid-range, just looking nice, man, KD's just looking nice, and, um, I just can't wait to, just to see how this uh, NBA season develops, because it's really looking good, you got a lot of contenders right now, like I said, it's still early, but, man, Let's go. It's it's looking it's looking good so far. You know this these first few games, first few weeks of the NBA. Excited, excited. Let me know what you guys think of. Uh, are the Brooklyn Nets better without Kyrie? Man, it just sounds it just sounds like bad saying it. But man, they're really more of a team. I feel like, and, and Kyrie's not holding them down. Ky- um. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, Kyrie, like, freezes. It's like he freezes that offense. When that last night you saw him, they were just, they're moving. They're moving around, man. The shooters are getting open. The cutters are cutting. And that, that ball is just flying, finding the open guy. But when uh, uh, Irving, Kyrie Irving has it, and he's running that point, he'll get that ball, and it's like everybody just freezes. And then they just, there's no movement. No, Nobody's really getting open, and... Ball's just stagnant. The offense is like, it's like cold. I, I, I want to say it's not. I don't know how else how else to describe it. It's like the offense is is like frozen almost. And we um, last night I feel like I saw the offense thaw out and really just start to flow. Man, it's just almost almost like a thing of beauty to see. Just let me know what you guys think. Are the Brooklyn Nets better without Kyrie Irving? Or am I just seeing things?